Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com with HD video at youtube.com slash the revived one. In this video, I want to talk to you about troubleshooting software issues on your Macintosh because I receive a lot of questions about people having issues with different pieces of software, having issues opening up files, and I think it's really important that we understand basic troubleshooting before you start emailing the genius bar or me for that matter. So what exactly is your problem? Before you do anything to try to figure out what your problem is or how to fix it, restart your computer. Half, if not more, of all issues that come to me, when I tell them to restart their computer before anything else, the issue is resolved. So why waste your time, why waste my time, why waste Apple's time, the Genius Bar, or whatever you're trying to deal with? Just restart your computer. You can also open up Disk Utility and try repairing the disk permissions I mean, I really haven't seen great results from this. Apple tells you to do so, but under first aid, just go in, repair the disk permissions. Maybe that'll help you. Probably you're still going to have your problem, but Apple wants you to do that, so you can go ahead and try that if you want. But after you restart your computer, then we can start figuring out what the problem is. So the first question I want to ask you is, is this problem anytime you launch the application? Is it reproducible with a certain series of steps? Or is it just one file? If it's just one file, you may not have an issue with the particular application, but you may actually have a problem with a corrupted file. Open up the application with a different file, and if you if it works, you're able to, let's say you're having an issue with iMovie, if you're able to edit a video with a different source file and it, everything works fine, then obviously your issue is with that specific file. Now what if you use a file, a new file, and you still are having problems. The next thing I want to try is your user library. Now basically you have library folders for your system and you have library folders for your particular users. And in some cases the files in your user folder, your user library, could become corrupt or damaged. So what I want you to do is go to system preferences and go to accounts. Then just make a new account and switch over to that account. Now in this case, if we've already determined that it's not a file issue, then it's maybe not as important to put the file in question into your shared users folder and then on the new account try it with that new with that shared file. I would recommend it just to keep as many constants the same as possible. So you make your new account, you're on the new account, and then you just want to open up the program and try to reproduce your issue. So if you're trying to, let's say in iMovie, when you try to add a picture-in-picture -picture effect, that's when you get your problem. And it's not a file issue. If you go to a new account and you're able to make picture-in-picture, -picture, then you know that there's an issue in your user's library folder. So what you want to do is open up your Macintosh hard drive. And you want to go to users and then choose your the user that you are. Go to your library file and then you want to go to application support so again we said we're dealing with iMovie that's the problem we're imagining here so it's searching and these files I've already scanned them they have nothing to do with iMovie they're just uh, XML files so you don't have to worry about that but if you had a folder like this uh, like let's say you having an issue with phone view then you would delete that from the application support folder Next folder you want to check is the caches folder. Again, you can scroll through the list or just type in the, what you're looking for. In this case, you don't necessarily have to delete this TIFF file because that's irrelevant, but you would want to delete the, both these folders, the com.apple.imovie8 and imovie folders. Now, the, now, once you've deleted the files from your application support, your cache, you want to check out preferences. So we'll go to the P section. Okay. Here's the preferences folder. And again, you can do the same technique. Look for iMovie or whatever program you're having an issue with. And you want to get rid of these plist files. And by the way, when you're deleting, make sure you empty your trash can. It seems simple, but I get some pretty silly comments if I do say so myself. And the last thing here, which is apparent, look in the root directory of your user library folder and look for a folder of the application. In this case, there's a whole iMovie folder here full of plugins and sound effects that we want to purge and get rid of just to be safe and to determine if this is a user library issue. Now, in most cases, probably I'm going to say 95% of cases, 
if you opened up a new account and you were able to use the program it's gonna be in this user library problem so if you've deleted everything in your root of the library application support caches and preferences restart your computer again after deleting start fresh open up the application and you should be scotch-free you should be good to go now let's say you're not unfortunately or let's say you know you know you it was not a user library issue so what you need to do is go then to your regular library not your system library do not touch that you just want to go to your regular Macintosh hard drive library now what I would recommend is first deleting the application then going into application support you want to delete the support files for the application so you want to delete anything that has to do with iMovie so you got iLife plugin strings iMovie or whatever again whatever problem you're having the name of the application so you want to delete application support and again you can check in the root to see if there is an iMovie folder or again whatever the issue is and I don't and there will be some or there may not be it may not even be a folder it could just be different files you want to go ahead and delete that as well and again remember you can just put it onto a different hard drive and um, just for safekeeping if you want to so once you've deleted all the support files then you can go ahead and reinstall your application now it's very important to keep in mind that you actually after removing the application delete these support files in your library because if you don't reinstalling the application is probably not going to do anything because these files that are, could be corrupting your application you know they won't be overwritten by the installer when it's you know dragged back into your applications folder so it's kind of a waste of time if you don't take the time to go into your library and just clean it up now last but not least what I want you to do is if you're still having issues and I'm breaking out my third web browser go in here and type in exactly what your issue is so say iMovie picture in picture not working or iMovie picture in picture crash because and you want to be as specific as possible of course if I had a specific problem I'd be much more specific but since this is an imaginary issue just iMovie picture in picture crash you need to be as specific as possible so you can find but not too specific don't give away any personal information don't just copy and paste logs that can give away your IP address or your serial number or anything like that just be uh, as specific as you think you should be and you'll be good to go I mean you don't wanna just say iMovie problem but on the same time you don't wanna say when I open up iMovie with two projects open and three events I get a crash with error message blank because of etc cetera, etc cetera. you don't need to be that specific because you won't find a match so just break it down into your specific type of issue what you're doing and of course the application with the most recent version that you have and just use Google that's probably the number one way I figure out how to solve problems on my computer is Google but whatever brat whatever search engine you use type this stuff in because other people you know, there's seven, 507,000 people that have iMovie crash when they're doing picture-in-picture. Picture. So it's probably likely that you'll definitely be able to find it or whatever application you have. So Google is your friend. So again, I am Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com, and this is how to troubleshoot software on your Macintosh. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me, therevivedone at gmail.com, but do not send me a private message on YouTube because I will not answer it. I hate YouTube's management system for private messages it's just too hard to manage for me and I can't do it mobily if that's what I want to do so the revived one at gmail.com otherwise I will not answer you I'm not ignoring you I just won't see that content as well as as if you have a question for the community feel free to leave it in the comments below I love seeing positive feedback that's always nice but if you have a critical issue don't post it in the comments or post it in the comments for the community to see but also email it directly to me now, enjoy your Mac, hopefully trouble-free. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.